Hello and welcome back. This week was a bit busy, so there's not much progress since last time, but it's still better than nothing. At the beginning of the week I made my boar aggressive when my main hero would attack it. There were some bugs as usual, but nothing too difficult to fix. Creating a mob spawner last time was a good decision, because now I can perform lots of experiments. For example, I can type in 500 boars to appear in one spawning area just to see how much the frame rate will drop. And it doesn't look that bad, it is around 60 frames per second. But if I would write 5000 boars, then it would become too much, as you can see. Remember that each boar isn't just a simple cube, it has around 2000 triangles, so all of them combined will have 10 million triangles, and that's too much to handle for my PC. But 5000 enemies would never appear in a single scene, so I think it's okay to say that my game will not be laggy for now. I also wanted to see whether my boars walk only in a mob spawner area, and as you can see the square area is visible clearly, and this means that it works correctly. After this I remembered a bug where my main hero would continue attacking the boar even when it's dead, so I fixed it by simply changing the game object's tag from an enemy to a simple destination, and now after the boar dies, my main hero stops attacking. So far so good. Now it was time to test how my boar acts as an aggressive mob. When I attack it, my character controller script changes its tag from passive enemy to aggressive. It also changes the boar's speed because now it will be trying to catch the player by running towards it, and when it's close enough it will start attacking. I made my boar a bit smarter by making it able to call for help. So when I attack one boar, all other around it in a certain distance will try to attack me as well, which makes this character dangerous if there's a lot of them. It's still not enough to say that my combat system is finished. I don't feel the joy from fighting and I realize that I need more visual effects for my weapon and enemy attacks, a standard indicator that a certain amount of damage was made, some kind of sound effects as well, some kind of a way to let the player know what he is attacking or where he is going. Right now it's difficult to say which boar he is hitting when there is a lot of them around the player. Also currently the weapon goes through all the boars that are in front of the main hero, so they all get hurt from one swing. I'm not sure if that, that is a good mechanic, but I've seen this in Stardew Valley and I like it. I may keep this with some probability to hit less enemies. Another thing that's missing is an auto attack if someone tries to hit the main hero. If a player kills one boar but another one is still attacking, then I think the main hero should focus on the new enemy as well. Also the enemy corpses should disappear after a while because right now sometimes I try to select another enemy but I keep selecting a dead boar instead. And most importantly my character is immortal right now which removes a fear to die and less joy to fight, so implementing hit point system is also important as soon as possible. I have noticed that enemies don't care if they intersect each other when they attack me, so I have turned on navmesh collision detection. It's not as good as I want, but I will leave it for now. So that was it for the combat system this week. There is still a lot to do, but I'll keep updating it until it feels satisfying. The last thing I made by the end of the week was a wolf model. What you see right now is a game ready low poly model, but it's not animated yet and it doesn't have a complete texture. So far it's just a plain color with some baked maps on top of it. So next week I will also focus on finishing this new enemy. And that's it, I hope you enjoyed seeing the progress, like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great week.